Hi, welcome to another episode of the Mike Page Doodle Club. Today we're going to make a football player, so follow along step by step, and hopefully you enjoy making a football player with me. All right, so to make my football player, I'm going to start with basically a rainbow shape. And it's kind of a tall rainbow on this one. And then inside of that, I'm going to make sort of a rounded off table shape or a staple. And then we're going to connect these two shapes with two letter U's. So I'm going to make one letter U right here and another letter U right there. And on top of this table shape, I'm going to put another table shape like that. That's where it would usually have the brand name or the team name on the helmet. And then just above that, I'm going to make a stripe. So I'm going to, I went to Penn State, so I'm only going to make one stripe. If you like a team that has three stripes, knock yourself out, put one more line on either side, but I'm a Penn State guy, so this is a Penn State player. Um, inside of the U shapes over here, we're going to make sort of backwards parentheses. And then these are very smushed O shapes, basically. Then inside of this, I'm going to make my, cartoon, my football player very cartoonish. I'm going to give him some grumpy eyebrows. This is a unibrow, and it's going all the way across, and it's slightly curved. And connected to the unibrow so that it looks very angry. His eyeballs are just going to be little dots close together like that. And then for his nose, I'm going to make a C that has face planted. So for that, it's a letter C that has fallen over. Then I'm going to give him a uh, grumpy mouth like that. If you would like your guy to be gritting his teeth, you could also make his mouth like this. So that's sort of a wonky rectangle shape. And then inside of that, you would just give him a few lines for his teeth. And if you wanted to make a line going across to separate his teeth, you can. Then going across that, I'm going to give him his face mask. I'm going to make it from about where the ear holes are. And it's just going to be a curving shape like this. I'm only going to give him one uh, bar for the face mask. If you want to make several, I'll draw it over here. You could do, and there's that first one. And then you could do the same shape underneath it with a line in the middle. Pretty similar to how we made the teeth, really. And then you could make another bar going across if you wanted it to be a three bar face mask. I, some of them have like five, maybe even seven. So you can put as many bars as you want. I want my guy to be the old school tough football player, so I'm only giving him one. Uh, then I'm going to give him sort of a squatty U shape for his chin. And since he's a football player, I want it to be a big, broad chin, not a pointy, skinny chin like mine. Then for his shoulder pads, I'm going to, to make him look really tough, I'm going to put them way up here. This is a guy you don't want to mess with. So those were just two straight lines kicked out. Then on this side, it's basically going to be a letter L. And on the other side, it'll just be same thing, just backwards. So those will be his shoulder pads and the start of his sleeves. To make his body, it's going to be pretty much the same shape that we used for his chin there. So I'm going to go down and in from either of these sides, and then straight across. And you can put whatever number you'd like. I'm going to make mine 31. 
Now for these numbers, I'm not going to walk through it step by step, but basically you want to picture the number that you want, make it a square. So if I was, if I made this three very square, I would go like this. But then the way football jerseys normally are, you're, you're basically chopping off every corner at an angle. Um, and then at the middle of a number like a three, you'll kind of chop that part out too. And here's my number one. Um, then I'm going to make more squash to use for his sleeves. Um, I like to make my cartoon people a little bit ridiculous. So now that I've made this guy look so tough, I'm going to give him really tiny toothpick arms because to me that's way more entertaining than actually making this guy look super tough. Uh, and then I'm going to give him a little broccoli hands. So these are just quick little squiggles for fingers. And for his pants, uh, think of these kind of as stretched out letter U's again. So there's one. And here comes the second one. And then we need to connect these, so I'm going to make a line there and connect up. And then if you want to imply his pads on his thighs, you can make little marks here. Sometimes you can kind of see the pads through the pants. Um, since I gave him toothpick arms, I also have to give him toothpick legs. Like that. So just four lines right together, well two and two right together. And then for his shoes, just kind of, these are what, like candy corn shapes maybe, or ovals. Um, you can fill those shoes in. If you want to give him his laces, you can. Uh, and then I'm going to put him on a football field, so I'm making some straight lines out. And if you want to give him a shadow, you can give him a quick little scribble shadow like that. So here's our football player. Hopefully you were able to follow along. I hope you enjoyed making a football player with me. Bonus points if you also made a Penn State player. Um, Boo if you made Ohio State or Michigan, but nobody's perfect, so it's okay. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you drew along with me and you'd like to share it on Facebook or Instagram, you, you can find me on Facebook, um, Mike Page. Last name is P-A-I-G-E. Um, and if you would like to share it on Instagram, please tag me at Mike Page Studios. Thanks again. All right, kids, now that you've finished your doodles, color them in and then share them with both Mike Page and Medfield TV. We're going to take those images and we're going to put them all over our station. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Mm -hmm.